Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Mr. Survival. So between episodes, I really haven't done a lot around the base. Um, I didn't add any walls to this yet because scrap to make nails is kind of a hot commodity. We need a ton of it. And the biggest thing that I'm running into is just storage issues. You can see like I made an extra blocker, but like these take so little to fill. I mean, it's not a lot of slots, but it's 15 slots. It takes nothing to fill it. So biggest thing for me right now is trying to get more storage, which is, you know, more scrap. So I didn't want to waste any on, on building walls yet. And we really don't need them as long as we're in this building, at least for now. Um, I also went ahead and I did upgrade this. You can see uh, we're level two now. It takes a lot more to upgrade that one. This didn't really unlock a whole lot for us. Uh, let's see. It gave us the lock pick, the small animal trap, and the car jack device, which I can't see the bottom of this, which is kind of frustrating. Um, we can't do weapons. And it did give us the tactical quiver, which I think we're going to start working on eventually. Right now, I think we can probably make this today, actually, the leather quiver, because I made a drying rack and I made a um, tanning rack, I think it's called. So this is at 98%, this animal hide. We just killed a deer and got that, so that's pretty good. And then I hung all the meat on here, or most of it. Um, you can see I have a little bit on me, and it takes a lot to like wear, like wear down, which is really good. So... Yeah, we have that bunch of extra food, which is perfect. Um, I did have a comment saying we could put this on top of here. Okay, well, I didn't mean to drop it, but apparently that worked. When I was trying to do it before, it, like, wouldn't sit on there properly. So maybe that'll work? Uh, I was just going to say I didn't want to do it because I couldn't get it to sit on there. It was always, like, hovering up here, but maybe that'll work. So maybe you just maybe I just broke it. Uh, <laughs> so the other thing, too, you can see I got a couple tires here. And while I was making the screenshot for the last episode, I actually found a battery. We've got a spark plug already. Um, we have fuel, or at least we know where we can get some fuel. So I want to work on trying to find an engine today, because if we can do that, we can get a vehicle up and running. Uh, the other thing I did is I found uh, just a bunch of rocks and built this furnace. So the reason I built it was because it is 18 rocks and two component kits. Very, very simple. I can't do anything with it yet because we don't have anything to cook, like to melt. But I am curious because this says uh, smelt raw metal into ingots, which are used for making weapons and tools. But then the blacksmith thing says the exact same thing, but it says it can also be used for repairing weapons and tools. So I don't know if like you need both or just one. I mean, this takes a lot of component kits. Like we're not going to do that right away. But we might not actually need this, even though we built it. Uh, yeah, so let's get on with today. So I'm over here at this uh, at this gas station, and my plan for today is actually to repair this vehicle. Initially, I was looking at the truck that's kind of hidden over there, but the truck doesn't have any storage. We have to like put like lockers in the back. Whereas this thing, like the trunk of this thing, is huge. I mean, it's the it's the equivalent of like one and a half lockers. So I guess it's not great, but. I guess that's less than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I thought it was more in my mind. Even still, I want this thing running because it has storage. And it's just, it would be nice to have that vehicle running. Uh, but, of course, it needs spark plug, engine, battery, tires, and fuel. And we don't have the engine. But, I'm hoping, in this fog, maybe there's an engine. Or, let me go to the map. So, we're right here. We're at this place right here. There's a barn here, here, and here. Or, I guess I could show you this way. There's a barn there, there. And over there that we're gonna check out but first i want to go in here and just look around um i've brought one molotov so we can clear out the little thing if there's one in here and yeah let's put the mask on and let's go um i don't really have a ton of um ammo honestly we're uh we're kind of we're kind of scarce on that stuff right now which is not uh not ideal Anything in here? No. Just get some fuel in there. Yeah, it really sucks not having much for ammo. I can't grab that lashing. I'm hoping one of these kind of ha like has an engine in it or something we could just yoink out. Now the last area, oh, lots of lots of uh, rags. The last area we were at that was like this, there was guys inside here. Okay, there's our other tire. You know what? Let's grab it. Okay, so we've got four tires. Uh, oh, well, three, and I know where another one is. So, yeah, all we need is the engine. And look at that. Just like that, we found the car engine. Oh, I'm so happy that we came in here. 
Is there really nothing? Like, there's nothing in here? So where's the thing causing the mist? It's, I guess it's just a misty area. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't see the... I don't see the thing causing the mist. All right. Well, that's that's no big deal. Let's, um, I guess, let's build... The, well, let's drink some water. And then, uh, yeah, let's get this thing built and going. I don't know if you guys can hear this in the recording or not, but it sounds like there's like a cuckoo clock going off. I just keep hearing constantly just... Doo -doo, doo -doo. Dude, in the background. I don't know what the hell that is. I keep hearing it, though. Too much weight. Can't... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I have all the stuff to get this thing running. I grabbed the other tire that was over there. I grabbed the whole stuff from home. This will probably take a while to install everything, I imagine. Wait. 10 minutes per tire. Okay. That's not terrible. Uh, a miss just happened, so we shouldn't have one for a little bit now. So, I should be relatively safe. Hopefully. Uh, battery. Five minutes to replace the battery. I just had to do that in my car, like, personally the other day here. And it takes way more than five minutes. And that's with tools. That's crazy. Spark plug. Three minutes to replace the spark plug. I wish. I wish I was on this guy's level. All right. Last tire. I love how he's got, like, power tools, but, like, we don't have power. Uh, engine. 20 minutes to replace the engine. I figured it'd be, like, a whole day. All right, well, I don't have much. I've only got, like, three liters. So let's put this in. I don't know how far it's going to get us. I mean, on today's gas price, it's going to get us, like, around the corner. But All right, so I'm hoping that we can get a little ways with this. Uh, I don't know how what the noise is going to do. So let's go. Let's take this thing for a drive and just see what we can, uh, what we can do here. Oh, it's weird. All right, let's go up this way, I guess. Uh, is how much fuel we have? Yeah, so it's gonna drop. We got two liters. It's gonna drop quick. We probably shouldn't get this thing up close to everything. Let's uh, let's turn that off. Oh, that's awesome. I don't want to get things too close because like I don't know what the what the noise is gonna do. Wait, there's a thing here, but there's no mist. There's a secret. I don't. What? What is happening? I don't see any green mist, but yet there's a seeker nest there. All right. Well, there's a double barrel shotgun. Some more ammo, which is good. Um. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste. Duck I'm not gonna worry about that yet. I'm not gonna waste thing to clear this out yet. There's no. I and mean, we didn't die while we we're in there, so there's no point wasting. I only got one Molotov. I don't want to waste it on that if we don't have to. I don't need anything from here. All right, let's go try that barn, maybe. See what we got over there. Also, I just noticed that it says turret station. I can't do anything with that, though. But what? We can put a turret on our vehicles? Is that actually a thing? If that's the case, this is, like, the best vehicle ever. Okay, let's get over... So I'm not sure like where the bandits and stuff are in this. So like I don't want to get too close to these things. Um, let's just put it here for now. Stop our engine. Yeah, like I don't I don't know how much sound affects things here. You know, I say that as we're like just walking in here with no care in the world for noise. Um, the one thing is we don't have a lot of ammo. I got 24 shots left with this thing. I've got I think uh, six left with this gun. Probably twenty something left the other gun. I'm not too sure, so we're we're definitely be careful with our ammo. Doesn't? Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, there's a seeker there. Oh, okay. We haven't fought those things yet. Uh, what do I do here? Is there only one? I kind of want to try to take one of these things out, so we know what we're dealing with. But like. I don't know. Where'd he go? Oh, it sees me. Oh, it sees me. 
me. Oh god, I don't have my other gun attached. Oh no. Over the fence, over the fence. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my. I don't think it's dead. I don't think it's dead. It's not dead. Okay, it didn't do a ton of damage. Oh, is this a fog rolling in? Oh. Seeker claw? What is that? A rare piece from a mutant. High value in exchange. Also important part for the si scientists want to experiment. What? Scientists we're going to be finding? So the shotgun worked pretty good actually against it. Not not terrible. I mean, yeah, I had to run and whatever, but that's not terrible. Um, I don't know. I really hope that's the one that's in here. Okay, it's not. It's definitely not. Okay, let's try something. We got its attention. We got its attention. Oh, yeah, what? You're wrecked, son. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, well. Okay, well, I was more cocky than I should have been, I guess, because. <laughs> it went down very quick. Oh, okay, is there more? Oh, there's a fog rolling in. Of course, there's a fog rolling in. Okay, we definitely have a fog rolling in, but uh, yeah. So this is the first time I've actually seen a seeker's nest with seekers at it. I don't know about this, but I think we should probably destroy this one. Um, it already had like seekers here. We should probably just get rid of this. I don't know if they come back or what, but let's just let's just do that and get rid of that thing. And we're about to be in some fog, which really sucks. I really hope that thing goes away. This is like a three-story... Ooh, rifle ammo. This is like a three-story barn. Oh, hello, AK. What? Oh, yes, indeed. I uh, didn't even try there. Get our other our other rifle out. You know, it's good. It's good. We don't have a ton of ammo. And this shotgun, I mean, that thing made pretty good work of that. So... Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Those aren't as scary as I thought they were. Uh, I mean, they, they are. I mean, that thing took half my health in two hits. So we definitely have to be careful. Chain. We definitely have to be careful, but, like, we know we can survive, which is which is good. I feel like we should be able to use these. I really wish we could put, like, like gas and, like, fuel in these things and power this up. Because it'd be awesome to be able to move, like, a generator, like a light, uh, floodlight, flood lamp, floodlight generator? What are these things called? The portable floodlight thing? It'd be awesome to be able to move that back to our base. Um, we are about to get... Oh, there's some alcohol. What is that? Gunpowder. I'm going to take that for now. Um, we need to fill back to our car and fill up with some stuff. What's in here? Nothing. Another tire. Okay. Uh, I don't have any space. We'll leave it for now. Let's go back to our car. I'm going to head home, unload some stuff. Well, yeah, I'm going to head home because... Ugh, those things are gross. Um, I need to wait out this mist. I don't want to be out in it because we're just going to end up wasting ammo. At least I think this is a mist. Unless it's just rain. So before I go any further, I want to check this. We have the uh, animal hide here. And I think we can turn this into leather, which gives us eight. So let's do that. There's 20 minutes. Uh, I want to pass the time on this weather. I don't know if this is a mist or if this is just rain. I think it's just rain because this looks all wet. But it's hard to tell. Usually you get like actual raindrops. So it's really hard to tell. But I do think it is just a just a mist. But I think we can now go here. I think I have three sewing kits. I've got two sewing kits. Oh, that sucks. So I wanted to make that because we can put two. Oh, that kind of sucks. Um, we can put two stacks of arrows then. Uh, one stack of arrows really kind of blows, but. All right, well, we know we have that, so I guess that's not a big deal. Uh, I want to continue out. I want to go... Where do we want to go? I think we should probably go up. Maybe 
maybe into the hunting area? That's kind of by the old west town, though. Maybe we should go to the sawmill. Maybe we'll go to the sawmill. Alright, I made it to the sawmill. Um, I did stop on the way here, and I grabbed some more fuel. Um, I found a bunch of cars by the gas station just on the road here. We got four and a half more liters. And it's good, because our, our gas hasn't even dropped yet. It still says we have two liters, so we should have plenty to get around for a while. Now, I don't really know what to expect here. I am hearing wolves, though. As soon as I hopped out of the car, I heard a wolf. So, I don't really know what to expect in this place. He's right there. Can I snipe him with our bow? Can I hit him with my bow? He just runs away. Maybe that isn't the best weapon for hunting those things. Um... Oh, they're everywhere in here. So I have had some suggestions. Some suggestions. Wait, what is that? Oh, toolbox. Um, I have had some suggestions that maybe this would be a really cool place to put a base. And it looks like it might actually be. Like, there's an entranceway, some fences. This might be a really cool area if you could make it work. But I'm not going to lie. If I was a bandit, like, this would be the place that I would put, like, a camp, you know? sounds like there's wolves everywhere well, lots of scrap which is what we need that's good man they must be inside the house like inside the building everything's empty in here okay so like i wonder if this is like a work in progress too or if this is just how it i mean how it is uh, i feel like there should be a shelf there <laughs> okay so there's nothing in here I mean, there's lots of spawns of, like, there's, uh, what do you call it? Um, metal and all kinds of stuff in here. Component kits. Oh, I see him. Oh, I didn't bring my, uh, damn, I didn't bring my knife. I hope I can find a combat knife around here, because I don't really want to have all this go to waste. This is a lot of meat. Put you there. If we can get like two or three wolves, I mean, this could be a lot of meat. What is that? Like the creepy old house in the, on the hill there. That's terrifying. We should go there. I'm seeing a lot of, so this area, there's a lot of spawns of, uh, of items. I'm hearing lots of wolves, but I'm not seeing many. Um, but a lot of the stuff here is floating. right there can't even hit him what I'm just going to edit those first four shots out and we'll not worry about it weapon out fast enough the important thing is we remain calm <laughs> see this is where the truck would probably be a lot more handy because i can't load these like I, I mean can i put them on the roof like does that i think they'll stay if i put them on the roof while i drive like you know we can pretend that we're tying them down you know if i do that do you think they'll stay We can get home on this. Think, think this will work? <laughs> okay, that, that won't work. I'm gonna go home and get the butcher knife and I'm gonna come back. I hear another wolf over here somewhere. Uh, it's the next morning now. I actually went home, grabbed my combat knife, and we killed another one of these wolves. There's like, they've respawned. They're, they're everywhere around here. Uh, like every time I move I hear one now so I'm kind of scared that we're going to get attacked but the one thing about this I'm kind of really concerned about so I slept because the night obviously the next night when I got home we didn't have much time so I was like okay let's sleep the night away 
But my health hasn't come up very much. And I don't know, like, I can't, if I use a bandage, I don't have anything to, like, to treat. Like, I don't have any effects. So I can't do anything other than rest to get it back that I know of. Uh, I tried painkillers and that, and I don't know. So if you have any other suggestions that you know of to get my health back, let me know. Otherwise, I think we're just sleeping. Um, so I don't know how long this is going to take. I put everything in here. That way, worst case scenario, we can just blast the doorway if the fog rolls in, which it might while we're doing this. Um, let's see. We're going to butcher. Oh, we're going to get so much stuff out of this. I guess we're going to get that and that. I'm not sure what the, f I don't know if I should get all of it. I don't know. I don't need the fat right now. You know, we're just gonna get this and this because it's the best thing to use. I don't, I didn't bring my axe or nothing. We'll get all the meat. Oh, it's so much meat. We don't have storage for all this. I guess we're just gonna do one for now. I don't think I want to waste the time doing a whole bunch of these things. I don't want to just leave the meat, but we've got a lot. I don't really have a lot of storage. You know what? We're gonna grab the, at least the leather off of all of these. I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're going off roading. Uh, I want to know what's at this house. It's actually it's a lot farther away than I thought it was. Um, it seems like a real waste to leave all that meat there, but like I don't know. I don't, I don't have a better like another need for it right now. We have so much. It's so much inventory. This looks really creepy. What do we got over here? It's a lot of these little houses. Though, there's no more wolves, huh? Hey, there's an ambulance right there. Um, this is the house I saw from a distance. I'm, we're going to go up there in a second, but I want to kind of check the surrounding area first. I'm not sure what to expect from all this. Chain. What are, what are chains used for, I wonder? Like, chainsaw? Like, what else would there be, you know? Wait, we can get up here? Nothing up there. I'm just going to start blasting all the wolves. Oh, we're in the town. Oh, we've made it up to that town where we saw the Seeker before. Or is this? It's got to be, right? Combat knife. Wait. My water's gone. Oh, I must have left my water at the house. All right, well, there's a couple more bottles. So that's good. We can get some more, obviously, like, more water, the better. Um... Ooh, electronic part and chocolate bar candy bar i want to go back up to this house i want to leave the town for next time we know there's a seekers in that town um i don't want to waste the ammo in there if i don't have to uh, i don't really know what to expect though is the problem like what if there's a seeker in here right but i kind of want to check it anyways <sighs> about to hit another mist man the mist is just it's going crazy I just go to the front door. It's like a hunting lodge. Oh my god, this looks like it's gonna be filled with bad guys. But mortar and mortar and pestle. What the hell do we use a mortar and pestle for? So, a shovel. I'm not going to grab it, but, like, what the hell would we use a shovel for? Bottles. So, it's like a... Yeah, it's like a hunting lodge. Oh, it's definitely a mist. Empty metal... Empty metal case? What the heck? Used for vehicle customization. Interesting. So, I did notice, like, in the building thing, uh, yeah, okay, well, the mist just rolled in. Um, in the building thing, if you go into here, we can go to, so there's the cabins, but then there is the garage foundation and the tuning garage. So, we need a blueprint for this, though, but that would be awesome. Um, uh, obviously, something with this, you know, the vehicle customization. Okay, I really hope these things can't come in here, because I... Yeah, I don't really know what we're going to do. 
There's not a lot left in here, I don't think. I'm not finding much. I mean, uh, some gunpowder, we'll take that. I'm not really finding a lot. Fishing, some leather. Iron ore, okay, well. Sulfur. I guess we got iron ore. I guess we can smelt. We can smelt some more now. We do have our smelter. Oh, I'm back at home. The day's almost over. Uh, I have gone ahead and I've cooked up all the meat we got. So I ate some of it already. Um, I've hung up some of it here as well. That way we've just got extra on the drying rack. I don't know what's better, like to have it on the drying rack or to have it like just cooked. And I can't, like, we don't have any vegetables yet. I need to make a way to like get vegetables. I don't know how to do like carrots and, and potatoes because like obviously making soup would probably be better than just straight meat. I, I'm not sure. It also takes two. So I don't, I don't know. Um, I did hang up some more stuff on the leather on the drying rack there. Uh, what else? I've made two more. Hard to see. I've made two more storages. Now, they're empty at the moment. We're going to fill them pretty quick. I, I don't know if, like, maybe I'm just taking too much stuff that we don't need or, or what. But, like, look how much stuff we have. Like, our inventory is, like, full, full all the time. So, like, maybe I'm grabbing things I don't need to take. But it's whatever. For now, we're just going to take everything that we think we need and kind of go from there. Um, we are so out of ammo, though. Like, badly, badly out of ammo. So, I got to figure that out. Also, I got one iron ore, and I don't know if I can do anything with it, but if I put that there... Oh, I get an iron... I get one ingot, it looks like. What is it? 44 minutes. Okay, well, I guess all it takes is one ore to get an ingot, so that's that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to sleep the night away, I suppose, and yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning.